Welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna to be getting ready and we're gonna be using products all under $5. I'm pretty sure with the exception of maybe one or two things. I placed this order on Ulta.com a couple of weeks ago and I wanna say everything was under $5. What I did was I uh, ranked by price and then I looked for the products that had the most reviews and the highest reviews um, on their site. I might've gotten a few things while they were on sale or discount so hopefully they are still under $5 if they're not, there might be a dollar or two more, but I'll have everything listed and linked in the description box with the price next to it. So before you click the link, you'll know what it costs. Um, uh, all right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're gonna get started with foundation first. And the foundation that I'm gonna be applying today is by Wet n Wild. It is their cushion foundation. I purchased the shade Natural Beige. Um, I do remember loving this foundation. I, I know I tried it when it launched a couple years ago, I think it was, and I really, really liked it. I actually don't know if I've met a cushion foundation that I have haven't liked, which is funny because I don't really use them very much, but every cushion foundation I've tried, I've really, really enjoyed. Uh, so this is brand new. I'm going to, let's see how it works with a brush. I don't know that it's actually going to work very well with a brush. Let me see. So I'm just going to kind of press my brush into the product. Oh, it actually does load up pretty well. Oh, actually I, I take that back. It works really well with a brush. I got enough product on my brush to kind of cover the whole face, I think. This foundation is really natural looking. It has a slight like glow to it. it. Makes the skin look really hydrated. I think the coverage is pretty good. It's not gonna be really a full coverage foundation, but if you don't need a lot of coverage, you just have like unevenness and you just wanna even out the skin tone, it's really nice. But I like because it doesn't look heavy and I think it's a great, or any cushion foundation really, it can be a great option for like winter, drier months when your skin is a little more dry because they're generally pretty hydrating and they leave the skin looking very hydrated. All right, another option is to use your finger. I'm gonna use my finger and kind of just press it in there and you actually get a lot of product on there. I probably got more than I needed there. Yeah, I definitely did, so. I'm just gonna kind of build this up a little bit. I probably got more than I needed, honestly. I don't need that much, but. All right, perfect. So now that I have all of that applied and blended in, I am going to go and apply my concealer. And the concealer that I purchased is by e.l.f. It is the HD Lifting Concealer. I got the shade Medium. This is one that I have not tried yet, so this is gonna be first time to use this product. I don't think, I don't, I don't remember using this one before, so let's see. Okay. Um, I do recall this one having pretty high reviews on Ulta's website, so I think that's why I went for it. I think when I was searching for, I, I ordered these a couple of weeks ago, and I'm pretty sure when I ordered all the products that I picked, I looked at reviews, so I kind of searched by price, um, and then I looked for the uh, products that had the most reviews and the highest rating, and I think this one had a pretty good one. Okay, so this is the shade Medium, and it's darker than most concealers that I use. I think it's gonna work though because I do have dark under eyes and having something a little darker is going to actually conceal that, but it's not gonna give me that brightness under the eye really. So let's go in and I'm gonna use the same brush to blend that under the eye. Yeah, I think I would prefer a lighter shade. This one is too dark for me, quite honestly. I'm gonna have to get something to lighten this up because this looks odd. It does a good job of concealing my dark circles because it's dark enough too, but I need something brighter because I'm just not used to seeing myself without having a brighter under eye. So I'm gonna go and see what I have over here in my vanity. Um, and then I'll come back and let you guys know what I put on top. But as far as the concealer itself, I like the texture of it. It looks very natural. It doesn't look dry or heavy at all. It looks very, very natural. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Age Rewind by Maybelline to give a little brightness. I'm not sure if this one falls under the $5 mark. I'm pretty sure it is more than $5, but it is drugstore, so. And I'm just gonna apply that right under there. You can see that that is much lighter, so it's gonna give me that brightness that I want. Okay, okay, so I have to say I'm really liking the way the skin is looking. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little closer, hang on. So I do really like the way the skin is looking. It's looking very glowy, very healthy, and very natural. I did apply a little more foundation than I needed here because I'm starting to see it kind of settle in the texture in my skin. But you can always take a beauty blender, a damp beauty blender with nothing on it, and bounce it over the skin to absorb any excess product, which I think I'm gonna do at the end of my application. Okay, so let's go ahead and go in the e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. 
Um, you will find that I'm using several e.l.f. products in here. I think when you're looking for a drugstore brand that is has a lot of products under $5, you're going to find, you know, Wet n Wild, e.l.f., Essence. Uh, let's go in with a small powder brush and I'm going to just pick up a little bit of this. This also looks to be a little darker, so hopefully it doesn't have too much pigment and I can just set the foundation. Oh, this is nice. This actually... Wow, that actually does blur and smooth pores really, really nicely. I have to say, like, I noticed as soon as I applied it, my pores just kind of smoothed out. This shade works, but I do think, because I think that I should have gotten a lighter shade. Things are looking a little dark when I'm layering everything on top. The foundation works, but it's more on the darker side of foundation. It's just like a combination of dark products. The foundation, while it wasn't too dark for me, it is more on the darker side of foundations for me. And then the concealer was dark and then the powder. So as I layer these products on top of each other, I'm noticing that things color is starting to change. And now I feel like my face is a little too dark, but what are we gonna do? <laughs> um, okay, so next I'm gonna go in and apply my brows and I just stuck with my normal NYX Precision Brow Pencil. It's my favorite from the drugstore and I believe this is also under $5. So I'm just going to fill in my brow. This one it needs a little more filling in than the other. So next week, you guys, I am turning 37 years old. And while it seems like a huge significant number, it's not like I'm turning 35 or 40, you know, I feel like those like increments of five are kind of bigger birthdays. For some reason, this feels like a big birthday to me. I don't know why it feels like a big birthday. Um, I'm having three of my best friends and my oldest friends in terms of like, I've been friends with them forever, not they're actually older. Um, my friend Aaron is coming over. We've been friends since we were in kindergarten. <laughs> my friend Jackie and Michelle are coming over and we've been friends. The three of us have been friends since sixth grade. So they're uh, all three of them are coming over with their kids and the plan is for them to spend the night here. So I'm looking forward to that. It'll be fun. Just kind of want to have a low key night at home with people that just like are my people, you know, you know, you have those group of friends that like no truly know you like no everything about you, you know? And I feel like those friends that you've had for that long are, the, are always those friends. The friends that you kind of meet later in life, you know, they know the they know who you are today, but they don't know who you were. I don't know, I just feel like when you find people that stick around, you know, and that love you and that have, have your back for that long, like that's very, very special. I feel so lucky to have friends like that, that all live here in Austin, you know? Okay, so the brows are done. Next, I'm gonna go in with eyes and I got two palettes. And I might use them both. I got this little palette from the Sweet and Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette. This is what it looks like. Sorry for all the reflection. Real pretty warm mix of matte and shimmer shades. And then I got this palette by the brand Beauty Gems. It's called the Everyday Essentials. And this palette retails for $4.99. I have the sticker tag on the back. This one actually says $7.99 on the back, but I'm pretty sure when I ordered it on the on Ulta's website, it must have been under $5 because I, I'm unlike certain that I didn't order anything over $5, but look how beautiful this is. Lots of really pretty neutral shades, mattes and shimmer. So I think I actually have, yeah, we're gonna just play with both of them for f the fun. Now I didn't get a primer, so let me go grab a primer for my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Wet n Wild. So I grabbed the Catrice Eye Foundation. I'm pretty certain this one is under $5 as well because Catrice is a pretty inexpensive brand just there with like Wet n Wild and Essence and all those products. I also have Revlon, but I'm not sure if that falls into the $5 benchmark. So I'm gonna apply that on the eyes, just blend it in with my finger. I always make sure that I take my primer all the way up to my brow. Perfect. Okay, and I think what I'm gonna do is, let's get this little guy open, this little palette. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my brow highlight and I'm gonna reach in here. This is the lightest shade of in any of the palettes and I'm gonna pop that right underneath the eyebrow. Oh, that's got some good pigment, good payoff. Perfect, and then for my crease, I'm gonna dip into this large palette here and there are a few options that look really nice, actually really beautiful. Hopefully the quality and the pigment and blendability is nice, but look at how pretty those shades are. We will start with, I think we're gonna start with this shade right here. It's pretty warm, matte, it has a good level of depth, so I think I'm gonna get, hopefully, some good color from that. Apply this right in the crease. Oh yeah, that is very, hmm, yeah, that works well. Just kind of blend that back and forth. Okay, good pigment, good payoff, easy to blend. Okay, we're gonna go to the other side. 
Perfect. Yeah, that's really nice. I'm impressed. So the mirror that I've been using to apply my makeup is this by uh, Ricky Loves Ricky. It's the Cutie Mirror, and I love this. It is like the perfect size. It's not too large, but it's large enough to really, you know, do a face of makeup with. It's so nice. Because I usually apply it here when I'm filming with my lights on, I don't use the lights a lot, but it does have three settings of lights. If you purchase that. It's so nice. Okay. That is beautiful. I love that color. Um, okay. So next I'm going to go and kind of build upon that and deepen that a little bit. So I'm going to take my 202 brush, which is a little more tapered and we are going to go into here and I'm actually going to go in with the shade right below it, which is very similar, but a little bit darker. So I hope everyone had a good uh, Christmas. We are, I am filming this on the 28th, this day the 28th. Um, it's the Saturday after Christmas, the day that I'm filming this. And the girls have been out of school for a week and they're out of school for another week. And I, this is like my favorite week of the year, I think. It is so nice. I've been sleeping until like 7.30 or 8 every day, <laughs> which is so nice. Um, you know, usually our alarm goes off at 6 a.m. to get the girls up and get them ready for school. And so it's just nice not to wake up to an alarm, you know, and just be able to sleep in. And the girls have been sleeping in our room every night and... It's just been really, really nice. Okay, so for on the lid, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna apply um, this shade right here. It's like a shimmery, like uh, peachy pink shade, really, really pretty. And I am going to take this brush by BK Beauty. This is actually a new brush. It hasn't launched yet. It's the 206 brush. Um, and I'm going to apply this onto my eyelid. And I'm just gonna load up the brush and pack it on. So I'm just gonna pack that color onto the eyelid and I'm just loading the brush up on the side so I get a lot of color and I'm just packing. So I'm impressed with these shadows. Um, they are pretty good quality. I'm getting good color payoff. They're easy to blend, they're consistent. There's not any patchiness to them. They're really nice, very pretty. I feel like that one could have to kind of build it a little bit but it's still nice. Okay, and then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna build upon my crease even more. I'm actually gonna go in with this shade right here, this really warm, orangey red matte shade. And I'm going to take my 202 brush, get it just on the tip of that brush and build that into the outer corner. So nice. Yeah, it just kind of amplifies what we have going on there, warms it up even more. It's, it's a pretty overall warm look as it is, but this is just giving it even more warmth. Here we go, very, very nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of build that into the outer corner and crease and kind of, kind of like fade it up a little bit so that when I'm looking at you and speaking, you see that color. If you concentrate it too far or too precise in the outer corner and crease, it kind of disappears when your eyes are actually open and I don't want that to happen. So, okay, we're gonna do that. And then next thing we're gonna do, do I have an eyeliner? Okay, I did, I got an eyeliner. So I got the Long Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade Hot Chocolate from Essence. Hopefully this works great because I really need a good uh, eye pencil, like mechanical self-sharpening eye pencil. Ooh, wow, this is great, you guys. Very rich in color, very creamy, soft. Okay, that is pretty awesome. Oh my gosh, this is a great pencil. Hopefully it doesn't smudge on me throughout the day. I am going to set it with a powder, which I would do for any eye pencil, but okay. So I'm just gonna kind of create a little tiny wing and then I'm actually gonna take a brush to clean this up because it looks a little crazy. Okay, so this brush, you guys, I'm so excited about. I think I've showed this already in a past video, but I'm gonna show it to you guys again. It is a new brush we're launching in February. It's the 208 brush by BK Beauty, and it is like the tiniest, tiniest angle brush. Um, and you could use this for brows. It's really tiny, so it's gonna be a little bit more work for your brows, but I love, 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 love to use this for eyeliner. You can use it with like um, a gel liner. Um, I The way I've been using it is kind of what I'm doing now. Like I'll use a pencil and kind of just create and put, apply the product there. And then you can either just go over it. I'll show you actually, let me show you, let me zoom you guys a little bit closer. So without anything on it, totally completely clean brush. Okay, so right now I don't have anything on my brush. It is completely clean. I'm just gonna go over that eyeliner. I'm not even taking an eyeshadow to put it on top. I'm just gonna go over it and then I'm gonna kind of pull, pull it out. Now you do need to make sure that the eyeliner you're using is creamy enough to where it allows it to move. If you use an eyeliner that sets immediately, it doesn't give you that time Time, then you're not gonna get this effect. But if the eyeliner's creamy and you're able to manipulate it and move it, you can create 
a very beautiful, consistent wing. So easy. I feel like it's a winged liner on training wheels, totally, to be totally honest. But I'm actually going to go in with the eyeshadow and I'm going to use the dark chocolate shade in this small palette. Um, I'm going to go in with this brush and I'm actually just going to go and set that eyeliner. It's going to deepen it a little bit. It's also going to set it. So in case that eyeliner was going to move or transfer, putting it, putting an eyeshadow on top is kind of eliminating that. It's similar to setting your foundation with a powder, right? You're putting a powder product on top of something that is creamy or emollient to prevent it from moving around. Um, okay, and then I did get a little bit of fallout from that shadow. Okay, so then we're gonna go in and do the other side. So I want you guys to see what the eyeliner on this side looks like first. It actually has a pretty nice little wing. Since this is the line that I started with and the pencil was pretty, had a nice point and tip to it, I did a good job of creating it, but I am gonna still go over it and set it. And then I actually wanna build and make this side a little thicker because I think that it would match the other side better if it were thicker. Very, very nice. Okay, and then I'm actually gonna take the same pencil and I'm gonna create a really fine line at the lash line. I'm gonna use the same eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna go about a little more than halfway over. Okay, so now that I've set that, I'm gonna go over it and kind of smoke it and soft it out. And I'm gonna use the 204 Smudge It brush. And I'm gonna go into the palette and use the shade that I used on my crease. We're gonna use that one uh, to just kind of soften and smoke out that lower liner. Okay, perfect. So now that I have that complete, I think the eyes are pretty done, pretty much done. I'm gonna go in with mascara and I have a couple mascaras here to try. Um, I purchased the Essence Get Big Lashes Volume Boost and I also purchased the Maybelline Lash Sensational and I also purchased the um, Lash Princess by Essence, which I've been using and I can't say that I'm a huge fan of it. Like some days I like it and other days it just, it definitely does a good job of getting the lashes really long um, and I don't know if it's the way my lashes are growing right now because I'm using a lash serum, serum and they're recovering from lash extensions but that mascara just makes them look they look long but they just look kind of like crazy um, and I feel like it irritates my eyes a little bit and I know that's a fan favorite I had so many of you guys recommend that and I do think it's a good mascara I just think for sensitive eyes it's not the best for me um, but we're gonna try this one by Essence it's called get big lashes and I definitely want some big lashes, so let's see how this works. Yeah, and you know, it's hard to judge mascaras right now because my lashes are so, they're not only short, but there are areas where they're completely missing. And so even some of my favorite mascaras right now don't look very good on my lashes. Ooh, this mascara works well. I feel like I'm getting a lot of length from it. And I'll show you what I mean, because even now I can kind of show you how they're just not full. There's like areas that there are chunks of lashes missing, so it's just hard to have, it's hard to, to make them look good. Even my Chanel La Volume isn't looking the best on me right now. Okay, you can kind of see what I mean. Like I definitely got some volume and length from this mascara, but do you just see how wild my lashes look? Again, I don't really know that it's a problem of the mascara. I think it's just the, the state that my lashes are in right now. I'm a little smudge there, but I'm gonna let it dry and refrain from cleaning it now because it'll make a big mess. For blush, I picked up uh, the blush by e.l.f. in the shade Mellow Mauve. This is what it looks like. And it just looks like a very soft, neutral mauve. So this blush is really nice and neutral. It's not too pink. It's got a little rose tone to it, but it's very neutral. It looks like a really great everyday shade. So I'm just gonna pop this onto my brush and apply it on my cheeks. I'm gonna smile and pop it right there on the apples of my cheeks. I didn't apply any bronzer, did I? To be honest, I don't think I need it because my foundation situation is a little darker and I think bronzer would just make it look too dark. Okay, you guys, this blush is really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. It reminds me of a combination of two blushes that I used to mix together with from MAC that would make the perfect color combination. It was uh, Cubic and um, Well Dressed. Do you guys remember those shades? I don't even know if they still have them, but this is so beautiful. Okay, this might be my go-to everyday blush. You kind of have to build it a little bit, but it, I think that's great actually, because if you're real fair, it'll be a great shade for you. And if you're a little darker, a little more tan, you can just build it to get a good level. But uh, I kind of love that. Oh yay, okay, well this is so far is my favorite find of everything I've tried. This and the palettes are really nice. Um, let's go ahead and move on to lips. I got a couple of lip options here. I ordered three lip pencils and then I ordered this product from e.l.f. It's like a duo ended lip color, I think, day to night. So it looks like you get a lighter and then a darker shade. And I ordered three lip liners. I ordered one from Essence. 
Um, let me see what the shade looks like. Okay, this is a sharpening one. So this is kind of like a, I'll let you see that, kind of like a bright pink and a warm bright pink. And then I ordered this shade from Wet n Wild. It's the shade Never Petal Down, which I think I'm gonna really like. This one, okay, this one is self sharpening, which I love. Okay, so this one is this shade right here, a bit cooler tone, pink bright, I like that one. Very soft and creamy. The Essence didn't feel as soft and creamy as the Wet n Wild did. And then I ordered this one, it's called Bear to Comet. And it looks like it's more spicy tone. Let me run this right here, okay. Ooh, these Wet n Wild lip liners are really, really nice, very creamy. Lots of pigment. This is the Wet n Wild Bare to Comment one. I think I'm gonna use that one. I think it kind of goes more with the vibe that we have going on on our lips. And I'm just going to, I'm actually gonna apply a little lip balm. No, you know what I'm gonna do, you guys? I'm gonna apply a lip primer. Um, and I'm gonna use, this is not under $5, but it's by Glam 35. It's a really great lip primer. It will, um, do you see how I have a lot of lines in my lips? It's going to smooth all those out, so it's gonna make my lips look bigger and more full. And it's also going to keep my lipstick on all day. It also gives a little bit of a slip. So when I apply my lip liner, I don't get a harsh line. I can kind of move it and get more of a, an even application with it. Do you see what that did? I mean, isn't that amazing? Don't my lips look so much more full and smooth? So I just kind of filled my lips in. That way I don't have like a really defined line around them. I'm gonna press them in. Having that lip primer too helps the product move and just almost look like a lip stain. Very, very nice. Okay, then we're gonna go in with this Day to Night Lipstick Duo, and I'm gonna use the lighter shade. Let's see how this looks. This might be a lot pinker than the lip liner, but I think that's gonna be fine. Ooh, okay, that is it's pretty. Oh, oh, well that's no good. It literally just fell out and broke off. So this was a little bit of a disaster. Um, one side completely broke off, like totally broke off. So I have to throw that away, but that's okay. Cause it was actually the side that I didn't want to use. Now the other side, which is like the day side. So here's the two shades that you get, which I assume is the night shade. The day shade seems really hydrating. It has a little bit of a gloss to it. It feels really nice on the lips. Okay, so this is the shade I Love Pinks, by the way. If you wanted to pick this up, it's the shade I Love Pinks. As always, I'm gonna have everything in the description box for you guys. Okay, the last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set in the center of my face with a lighter, brighter powder. And I'm gonna go and grab my Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder, I think it is. I'm pretty sure that falls under $5, but I feel like I definitely need to lighten my foundation situation, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I said Essence, but I'm, I actually meant Revolution Beauty, uh, the Bacon Blot Powder, and I used the um, more yellow banana shade. It's called Banana Light. So I just dusted this all over the center of my face just to kind of lighten everything down a little bit. And this is the finished look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll have all products listed and linked in the description box, and I'll go ahead and put next to each product the price of it. I'm pretty certain everything falls under the $5 mark, but like I said, there might be a few exceptions because I think when I purchased some of these products, they might've been on sale on Ulta's website. So as always, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and a happy new year. I'm not sure if this is gonna go up. This will probably go up just before new year. So I hope you guys have a um, fun and safe new year's and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.